Hey, how's it going guys? Sinister Skater here and today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. We are going to be working in Photoshop for today and I have a little bit of a kind of a thumbnail download template and a little bit of a tutorial for you guys today. So I remember like a long, 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 long time ago when I was back, um, oh, let's see if we can find the video. It was a like a long time ago I asked for suggestions of what you guys would like to see on my channel. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. It was, I don't know where the video is, but I was asking suggestions. One of you guys, it was this video right here, time for a little change. I remember some of you guys were talking about from Photoshop, like background, except there's not really backgrounds anymore. Um, they're more banners this time, background and like thumbnail templates and how to do stuff. So I thought I'd, I did one before, but I recorded it. I'm like, this sucks, so I just deleted it. So I thought I'd give it a shot again, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little lesson in Photoshop, just a little bit, but I have a temp or some templates for you guys to download. I'll scroll through them real quick. Um, this, 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 and this, and this one right here that I will be working on. Just so you guys can get something to work with, we're going to kind of be explaining stuff, and I also have a couple other things to download. Now, in Photoshop, to create a template, you need some things one you need some textures which are you know like uh this is a texture let's put this on the normal mode something okay it's not on 100 percent. something like that that's a nice little texture it adds a lot of you can do different like overlays and stuff with it i like soft light on this and um do a bunch of stuff you know textures are nice for it having some text and some photos are nice and one thing that i am going to show you guys which um i definitely tell you to download it's not mine um, well, actually, first things first, this is, has to do with fonts. So, fonts in Photoshop, let's go through and show you. There's this site called DeFont, which is this site right here. It has a bunch of free fonts for you to download, and it's pretty awesome. They have a bunch of categories. I like going to uh, stuff like uh, this, like the sci-fi stuff. It has a bunch of cool fonts. Um, I have this font. I have this font. I have this font. You know, it looks cool. You can download it. I have Coalition. Or Co Co Coalition. Um, I have a bunch of these fonts. I download a lot from here. It's a easy way to get a bunch of fonts. Let's say, let's uh, type in, let's bring this down to like 300 right now. Let's type in, Sin is awesome. Then bring this down to like, a, I don't know what size, like a 200 font size. Yeah, right there. So as you can see, we got this. And then um, some fonts are downloaded. I'll put, uh, you know, bad, oh wait, this is in uh, bold mode. Make sure you're not in bold mode when you do fonts. Um, bad paint job, you can kind of see what that is. Uh, Bebas. Um, here, so I definitely tell you guys to go check this font out, but I will have some links to some fonts that I like to use down below. Um, some things like uh, Candy Script is a nice font. Um, you guys see uh, Bada Boom, where is it? I think it's called Bada Boom. Yeah, Bada Boom, you see this a lot on a lot of videos. Um, the Black Ops 2 font is Bank Gothic. So I have some of these down here, but the big thing about font is I'll link you to the guy's channel. His name is Obey Rated. Um, has a bunch of kind of like a uh, I don't know, like a bunch of giveaways, like a uh, 10 thing, the GFX packs. It has a bunch of lights and stuff, but one thing he has, I'll find the video, is this font pack, which has a bunch of these font um, preloads here. So you can go ahead, I download it, you just click them, and it gives you this nice, like, color font thing. And what I do with this, I usually will do it, add a stroke to it so it has, like, this nice black outline. Drop the drop shadow down and make it big so it stands out on some, um, some videos and stuff, and then I'll mess with the gradient overlay. You know, bring this down to make it pop out some more and stuff like that. That's what I did for this font right here. I had the being classy by itself. It was just like this. And then you added, I clicked on the orange one and then added some, yeah, I'll show you real quick. I added the stroke, which makes it stand out a little more. And then the drop shadow has that nice black and makes it pop out. So that's that. Make sure you guys go download that. And, um, yeah, this is... I don't know what the heck to talk about. I don't really know how to do some freaking Photoshop fonts. Um, so we got the fonts out of the way. You want to download some fonts. I will have these four or five templates for download down below. You can be either totally safe. Trust me, I'm one of the biggest people about um, being safe with viruses and stuff. I know all the little tricks and I scan everything. I make sure I'm not downloading. I'm not like if I go to sketchy sites, I'm, I'm right out of it. I know all the little tricks. So you're safe with me. And oh yeah, the other thing I want to show you download real quick. I'll throw in some of this stuff, but I will throw in some of these logos, the PNG logos, where if you just toss them in here, they're already transparent and ready for you to work with. Like this Black Ops 2 one I use a lot, you'll see, you just add a little stroke to it, and it uh, looks pretty nice right there. I'll probably throw in the Black Ops 2, 
I have what else do I have? I have Battlefield 3. Um, that's really small because I haven't blown it up. I think this is the Battlefield 3 one I use. Um, Battlefield 3, I got COD Ghost ones ready for you guys. Um, Crisis 3, I have Minecraft. Just a bunch of little things that I can show you guys and give those to you as well. Now, on for these uh, little thumbnails right here. You can change pretty much whatever you want. These are just like templates for you guys to go off of stuff like these bars that separate. You might notice this thumbnail from a recent video. Um, let's go ahead and click this. If you want to change the color of them, you know, go to your hue and saturation and change the color. And change them to like this yellowish green. Change it to like a more of a red purple area. Do whatever you want with it. Customize it. Do whatever you want. Take out this. Do that. Um, probably take out this background and put in whatever background you want. So let's say we go into, I don't know, what else do I have? Use this, throw in this in the background and then, I don't know, blur it out or whatever. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, do a bunch of that stuff. I got this one. This one, you know, do whatever you want with it. Um, I have text. I have this stuff. You might notice some of these thumbnails. Here, we'll scroll through a couple. Um... What was this thumbnail? This was the selling, you know, that was from this thumbnail. I kind of put it together and got a little template if this will pull up. Hopefully I'm screen recording right now. I'm not sure. You know, recognize that. That looks like that. Um, a bunch of these thumbnails, you know, you can look off of. That was one of them. That was this template right here. Um, What else do I got here? You know, just a bunch of templates. And then, you know, this isn't like all you can do. This is just to like get you started. Um, you know, this was pretty easy to make. Let's pop this one up real quick. Put a screenshot in the background. That is a horrible gradient because I didn't know about this font pack. That's why it looks crap. But you get one of those gradients in here. Type this in. Put that in there. Blur it out. Looks pretty nice. Um, you know, just do simple stuff like that. It looks really nice. Um, to get more of an effect like this, you add a texture over it. So, say I wanted to get this whole thing in a nice little texture. We'll probably... Well, this is the where's my background in this one group background so we'll probably take this texture duplicate it and then bring that all the way to the top and you get that kind of textury feel you know that's, that's a little way too much right there but you bring it down and do all this stuff you just play around with it you can use them exactly how they are or change them up change the text you know this one i got right here um Black Ops 2 template, you can do whatever you want. I have the background in the back, you can probably change out. Um, also, the example, like what I do, I'll use this stuff, and then I'll kind of cut and delete some certain things, and make sure that I can change the colors of them by just going into, like, this, clicking a style, and then, whoa, that has the, uh, it has a drop shadow already on it, so that's why I was like that. Let's go to this one. Go to this, you know, do this, and then cut out, what the heck is going on? Cut out something right here and then just kind of change the colors as I go along to get this effect um and yeah that's pretty much it I'm not sure how useful or who else is still watching this video but that is um pretty much it you know got that simple spiral effect you can easily change these colors by um changing the hue and saturation up here if you have Photoshop or just go down here and you can change the hue and saturation overall so it changes to like a orangey ready whatever you want to do add your text do whatever you want that's pretty much i'm done talking um you know that that's just pretty much it hopefully you guys can have some fun with this and it can help you out start some of you up um if you have any questions you know you can of course ask me and um do that stuff but of course if you guys don't have photoshop this is for photoshop not gonna lie um you want photoshop look it up on youtube don't go and do it like a sketchy way look at the likes look at the comments make sure it's not like a bot comment it's people commenting over and over again make sure there's like actual feedback and go try your download out and get it off of YouTube. Um, that's pretty much how a lot of people get a lot of stuff. Unless you have the money to pay for it up front, which I recommend you do, because it's whatever. But if you need it, look it up right now. Go, go, go. Hopefully you guys found out something, or found this video useful. Start making some thumbnails. If you want more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I can do that with a lot better, like, tutorials on how to do it. But it will be multiple video parts and will take a while because I can't just go ahead and just start doing stuff because there's a bunch of stuff like, um, I don't know, who knows what, who knows what a, uh, one of these masks do where you can use your brush, get a different brush, change the color, and fade one of these areas out. Who knew you could do that? I'm pretty sure not many of you knew you could do that. 
it was just a bunch of stuff bunch of shortcuts that it would take a while so if you guys would want to do something like that up till ghost i mean that's probably the perfect time span up until ghost maybe once a week twice a week whatever you can do that let me know down below in the comments if you're still watching but yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always i'm subscribed i'll see you guys on the next video peace out